Good morning, you guys. Thank you guys so much for stopping by. If you're new here, my name is Lily and I do weekly vlogs on my chronic illness and how that relates to my fitness journey. And if you think that that's interesting, I highly recommend that you subscribe because I am here for you every week. So I forgot where I left off with my last vlog, but well, two vlogs ago, I went to the orthopedist to figure out what the freak was going on with my back I ended up getting an epidural and the epidural worked for like the first three or four weeks that I had it and then a few days I woke up and noticed that the epidural just kind of stopped working so my lower back pain came back so I also spoke that um I was getting like a lot of joint pain and muscle pain everywhere and Thankfully that minimized. I am still getting a lot of muscle pain for no reason, but it's not nearly as severe as it was like a couple weeks ago when I, for like the first video that I uploaded. So because the muscle pain is technically still there and my back pain recently just came back like full force, I'm guessing that it's related to my rheumatoid arthritis. I don't know that rheumatoid arthritis causes damage to the spine because like I said, my rheumatologist told me it doesn't. But I have an appointment today with my rheumatologist and I'm going to bring it up to her. I'm also feeling a lot of really weird side effects like my nose is so dry. I can barely breathe from it. Half the time I have to breathe through my mouth. Um, other things like my periods are really re irregular. Um, I've noticed my hair is kind of falling out. I don't know. I think all of that might be related to RA, but I'm going to take you guys with me to my appointment with my RA doctor. I'm going to try to film little snippets. I had to be careful because my phone makes a noise when you click the record button. <laughs> so I'm going to try to record on Snapchat and then import that footage in here. Okay. Okay, so I finally made it to the doctor's office. I am a little bit early, so I'm going to try, like I said, I'm going to try to record a little bit. The footage is probably going to be grainy because I'm going to have to import it from Snapchat, but I'll explain everything after. We want to change the Zelgens. Because alone Zelgens is not enough, we have to stop the Plaquenil. There is a sister. Sorry, I apologize. Okay. Okay. Give me two minutes. It's, it's a doctor. Okay, so a little update from the last time I saw you. So I don't know if you could tell. Well, first of all, I straightened my hair. <laughs> um, I don't know why. It's just, it's kind of something I do as a self-care thing whenever I'm like feeling under the weather or depressed or whatever. But so I don't know if you could see from that last clip, but basically, sorry for that weird angle in that last clip. I just, I didn't want her to see that I was filming because I don't know if that's allowed, but she basically said that one of the medications that I was on is what's causing all of the muscle pain and all of the uh, muscle spasms, um, which is what I originally thought. Um, well, actually, I thought it was the RA. I thought the medication wasn't working at all, and it was actually the RA that was flaring it up, and she said, no, it's actually the medication that is causing all of the muscle pain. So she switched out my medication. Um, that's the good news. So I wasn't crazy. I was just experiencing a lot of unnecessary muscle pain. Um, but a little bit of bad news is that she told me that you don't feel... The positive effects of the medication for six weeks after you start taking it. So I'm going to be in a decent amount of pain for about six weeks even though she changed my RA medication which is a bummer because I am in so much pain right now. Um, my back pain, I think I, I, if I mentioned it maybe if I didn't sorry but my back was hurting this morning and since waking up this morning and making the first clip it hurts so much worse. Uh, um, and I have to work out today. I'm in my workout clothes. I'm going to film my workout so you're going to see. It's lower body day. Um, I'm going to keep it mostly. I only ever do resistance band training now, but I'm going to try and keep it as light as I can. I'm only going to do like a few reps per set so that I don't aggravate my lower back. Um, so yeah, um, I'll insert a few clips of me working out. Yeah. 